So I was exhausted when I got there. I think with layovers and traveling to South Africa, it took a couple days to get there. And then it was the morning time there, so my time was all off, my body clock. Um, I can barely remember what they told us in all the introduction meetings. But the one thing I do remember is these birds. So we flew in, it was winter in the in South Africa, Johannesburg. And it's not very beautiful in South Africa during the winter, in most places, at least in Johannesburg. Um, it's very, uh, it's cold, everything's kind of dead. And so we flew in and it was like foggy and kind of eerie, I remember. And they drive us to the the MTC there and and, and uh, I just remember these birds outside. Uh, I can't imitate them, but they have these long beaks and they just make kind of a, an eerie sound. So that's what I remember getting there the first day. And they kind of do an introduction and then we had a transfer meeting, got my companion and I, I was sent straight out into the field. So that's what I remember the first day. Then my companion got me, put our stuff in our apartment and he took me straight to the area that night. I met some people and had no idea what they were saying, even though they were speaking English, I couldn't understand them. And that's what I remember about the first day. If you're leaving from America, it's kind of, so just know that you're going to have a very long plane ride. So that was a very interesting experience that I'm from DC, uh, Baltimore area. So I left from the BWI airport and I flew all the way to uh, London Heathrow. We actually had a 10 hour, 12 hour layover there. So that was just really long. And I met the, you'll probably meet another group of missionaries in the airport, like from America who are going there or Europe as well kind of all just just find them and you know sit together for that time and then you get on the plane and we had like a red-eye flight uh, straight through the night from London to Johannesburg so so it's a lot of flying to get there from the US but um, you land and it's kind of like South Africa it's like because it's it's just a really it was a really big adjustment when you get there from the US because um, like it's almost like everything's backwards, you know, like the the uh, people drive on the other side of the road and um, there's just different different like areas where people live and that there's a lot of the weather there is great um, and then when we got into the MTC it was just this like we were just totally jet lagged so it's just a lot of those first few days were just kind of like you know what are we doing but they give you a bunch of shots when you get into the MTC for, you know, all the diseases in Africa. They go over the, the precautions you take and uh, other things related to the mission. Um, I actually got a little bit of sick my first few days, like diarrhea, because of the, just adjusting to the food or maybe it was something I ate on the plane, but it was weird. So you might have that first few days of just adjusting. And South Africa is a very developed country, especially for Africa. So, so the water there isn't unsafe to drink. The food there is pretty good, but um, you might have this adjustment that your body goes through, either jet lag or just getting used to just the lifestyle, I guess. So we met our mission president. He just kind of walked over um, because we're the in, in South Africa, the church has this giant like complex there that of multi buildings, the Rudaport complex. So they have the MTC building. Then across from it, they have the Rudaport Stake Center, where just the local wards meet. And then behind that, they have the CES building. Um, I've learned since I've left that they've actually, and right next to the MTC was the uh, mission office, the Johannesburg mission office. So you literally just walked a few feet and you were in the mission office. It was right next door. I've learned that that's changed since I left, that they moved the, the mission office into the CES building there because it's a lot bigger because the mission's grown and the MTC kind of took over that office area. But everything's just right there. So like, and every time, every transfer day, that's where all the missionaries in the area congregate. They all, you know, drive to that, that big Rudaport area. And uh, when I was there, we had uh, transfer meetings, like a, a testimony meeting where 
Um, what we did is after we met with our mission president and he kind of gave us each an interview, talked to us about our experiences, uh, we kind of all, what we did was um, we all went into like a room and our trainers came into the room and we were paired with each other and it's definitely a nerve-wracking experience. I was put with a guy named Elder Moroa from Zimbabwe, so that was cool, but I was just super nervous and I, uh, I'm i sure I looked uh, like an unattractive new missionary. I wasn't, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't come off as confident or, or, you know, some missionaries, they, some new missionaries, they have this, you know, aura of confidence and others are, you know, just totally scared and don't want to talk and I was probably more like that, so that's just how it is. You can't really control that. It's a, it's a nerve-wracking thing, you know, to, to get a trainer you don't know and go to an area you don't know and it's just crazy. Um, and then we'd all met in the, the chapel there and all the missionaries getting transferred were there and we had like a meeting where we all, all the new missionaries we all came up and introduced ourselves and the missionaries going home gave their testimonies and we sang the mission song and then we just uh, we got in our cars and went to our areas. Well, uh, the airport was a really nice airport, and I just, I thought it was a little bit surprising. I guess I expected it to be not as nice as it was. And um, I was just, I mean, it was on the complete other side of the world, but it just seemed almost like home, like it was just very familiar. And that's kind of a strange impression, right, to get, but that's the way I felt.